Well, spring's almost here, so that means one thing. <coughs> Allergies. I'm Chris, and this is Workshop and Home. I'm going to do some basic maintenance on this lawn tractor. I'll change the oil, fuel filter, air filter, maybe even put some air in the tires, and maybe clean it up a little bit. I should have done this last year before winter, but it got cold and I got kind of lazy. So now is a good time since it's nearly time to mow the lawn. So I'm going to change the oil on this first and as you can see here this is the oil drain plug and it's hard to see past this tie rod right there and no matter what you do this is a makes a huge mess so first thing I got to do is get some cardboard under it. I think I'll try out this hose. This has got a quick release drain plug on here. And there's not a really easy way to do this. I'll try this out. Of course, my hose isn't that long, so I'll have to sit here and hold it. If you wouldn't mind, hit that little subscribe button down below. It don't cost nothing. Also, don't forget to hit that like button down below. Well, that took forever in three days. So now, I got the oil all drained out. And the really messy part of this is getting the filter out. So I'll go ahead and get that off. There it comes. I don't know why they made the thread so long on this thing. There we go. And now I got this big old mess down here. Alright, so I got this Kohler oil filter, and this is a Kohler engine. And they want you to pre-fill this filter, but I don't see how you can pre-fill it and turn it sideways and screw it on without making a mess. So I'm not going to do that. I'll take some motor oil and just lube up this O-ring on the filter. You don't want to over tighten these, just another half a turn after it sits on there. I'll clean this up a little more and then I'll fill it up. Alright, that's about two quarts. It's 
a little less than two quarts, but we'll check it and fill it if we need to. Yep, that looks good. So on to the next thing. And while I'm down here, I want to change this fuel filter. It's been a, on there a couple years. So it's about time to change that. There we go. Fuel filter installed. Next item. Now the next thing I'm going to tackle is the air filter, which is under here. And this has never been changed in its two-year history either. And I know it's fairly dirty. And you can see pre-filter is pretty dirty. The air filter doesn't look too bad, but it's been a couple of years, so might as well change it. Here's the new filter, and also the new pre-filter. I'll just throw that on there. Clean this out a little bit. There's a little bit of grass in there. A little bit of oil, not surprising. Just stick that back on there. Now that job's done. Now what I'm going to do next is actually check the spark plug. Again, I haven't had this out either for since I bought it. I just want to check it out. If I can get the boot off. There we go. I tell you what, does everything just have to be hard? There we go. So look in here, this is this spark plug's a little bit carbon fouled, but I think it looks okay, and I'm just going to wire brush it a little bit, get it cleaned off, and I think it should just be, should be just fine. Yeah, it cleans up pretty good. Okay, now the next spark plug, there's two in this 
And we got some more of that uh, carbon fouling, so I'll go ahead and clean that up. Well, I hope this video was somewhat educational or informational or whatever, entertainment. But thanks for watching Workshop and Home. We'll see you next time.